In this next song, we're going to take a look at a classic tune by Ryan Adams called Let It Ride. And it's got this really sweet intro combining both melody and strumming. Kind of like that. So I'm going to run through it with you. And then future Jeff is going to break down the song. Not mentally. Hopefully not. Or is it really future Jeff? Perhaps it's past Jeff. One, two, three, four. And then, for our bonus feature section on the DVD that's coming out, we're going to show some hilarious outtakes that occurred during this song. Just kidding. We, we don't do DVDs here. What, is, what does this look like, people? The Marty Schwartz channel? Huh? This is not Marty Schwartz. We only stream video. No DVDs. No DVDs. Okay, let's run through it and then we'll break it down. By the way, I'm going to capo on the third fret. It just suits me a little better, I think. You know? You know? But when you're ready to jam with Ryan, you can just move this on up to the fifth fret. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. intro because that's kind of the toughest part and gives us a good feel for our strumming pattern for the rest of this tune. 
So what I want to do is I want to start off with an A chord, and I'm going to go bass down up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to lift up my ring finger. I'm going to hammer on 0, 3 on the E string, then play my open A. So I've got bass down up. Then I'm going to play my D string, which my middle finger is on. And then I'm going to do a down up stroke. And my ring finger is no longer down. All right, so I've got. Then I'm going to finish off by getting rid of my middle, playing that D string again. Then another down up stroke. So I have. Then I'm going to start off the same way, second measure, bass down up on the A minor. I'm going to hammer on 0, 3 again, then fold over my ring and hit 3 on the A string, lift up my middle, hit 2, down up stroke, then 3 with my ring finger on the E, down up. So I have. down up stroke, I'm trying to focus that strum on strings one, two, and three. Okay, so so far I have, oops, sorry. Third measure, I'm going to do the same thing as the first measure. Then I finish with this measure here with the C chord. I'm going to do a down up stroke, so bass, down up. Then I'm going to work off the D string with my middle finger, open, second fret, open, down up, and then walk down on the A string, three, two, and that puts me into the A minor for my verse. So that last measure. As far as the verses go, I'm going to do a bass down up stroke, you know, kind of a country pattern. Bass down, bass down up, up down up, bass down up, up down up, bass down up, up down up, bass down up. So I count it one and a E and a three and a G and a E and a C and a E and a. So bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up. And I can vary it as much as I want. Well, not as much as you want. You probably don't want to do like a samba groove or something there. It might get weird. But you can vary it a little bit. And so that's my half of my verse. A and a two and a three and a four and a G. I'm going to grab an F major 7, right, which is just an F chord, but with an open E. And I'm going to walk it down, F, bass down up, then C over E, which is just like a C chord, but no, nothing on the A string. So I'm playing off the D string for both these chords, F, C over E. I'm going to do a bass down up on both of them, and then a G. And I'm going to do a similar pattern as I was doing before. Bass, down, up, up, down, up. Or bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nice variation. So my whole, my whole verse is doing that same pattern. A and a 2 E and a 3 and a 4 E and a G and a 2 E and a C and a M or F major, C over E and G and a F major, C over E. that next verse. For the chorus it gets a little tricky because you have some 2-4 measures. But I'm going to start out, I'm going to do my A minor, and then I'm going to walk down, so A minor for two beats, F, C over E, and G for two beats. Alright, so 
So I've got A and a 2 and an F and a 2 and E and a G and a E and a. And that G is just going to be two beats, right? So it's a 2 4 measure, so it's its own animal in a way. A and a 2 and an F. Then I repeat the same thing, A and a, E and a, F, C over E. Then I'm going to go back to my F major 7 for two beats. And it's its own 2-4 measure too, right? Then I'm back to that same theme, A, F major 7, C over E. Now this next 2-4 measure, I'm going to go G, C over E bass down up on each, so just a 2-4 measure, 1 and a 2 and a. Now I finish out that chorus with two measures of F major 7, F and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 e and a F and a 2 e and a 3 and a 4 e and a. Alright, so if I do that whole chorus, it sounds like this, let it rain. get to my chorus, it's pretty easy. All I'm going to do is hang on my F major 7 for two measures. Four E and a F, two E and a F. Then half measures C to G. And then again, two measures of F. Then a whole measure C over E. I'm just going to strum my G once and let it ride for, <laughs> for a whole measure that I'm back into my chorus. So that's how you play uh, the intro, or at least my version of the intro, the verse and the chorus and the bridge, right? All right, well, have a good time with this tune. It's a great tune. Hope you enjoy it.